Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Disney's Hollywood Studios and I feel like I haven't been here in a while so I wanted to come out and make a video showing you guys everything that's new in the park. I hear there's some new snacks and some cookies named after attractions so I figured we'd come on out, ride some rides, eat some food and have a beautiful Hollywood Studios kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. It is such a beautiful day out today at Hollywood Studios. Temperatures are in the high 80s and we've got clear skies. So hopefully it's not too busy in the park. But we're going to check all the wait times and uh, uh, hopefully get on a lot of rides. A couple of the snacks that I saw that are new, uh, like one of them is a Tower of Terror cookie. Uh, and it's a cookie based off the Tower of Terror. And then there's a Play-Doh cookie in Toy Story Land that I hope it doesn't taste like Play-Doh because I hated the smell of Play-Doh. I hope it just looks like Play-Doh. But I mean, other than that, I'm just excited to hang out and see what's new in the park, maybe the merchandise. And uh, oh, yeah, it's my first time being here since the 35th. So uh, yeah, it's just going to be a nice cozy day. Here is a look at the wait times for today. Looks like Rise of the Resistance is 60 minutes, Slinky Dog Dash 75, Tower of Terror is 50 minutes, Mickey and Minnie's Runner Railway right 45. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's an overly busy day. I'm used to seeing 100 minute waits, so kind of got a good feeling about this. And sadly, Rock and Roller Coaster is still closed. I bought Genie Plus for the day. It cost $24 just for Hollywood Studios. It was $27 for all the parks, but I know I'm not park hopping. Uh, so I'm able to book a lightning lane. And like I said, I want to get the cookie and then the ride. So we're going to eat the cookie, then we're going to ride the ride. Right outside the Tower of Terror, they have a little Joffrey stand that actually has the cookie. And, uh, oh, you can see it right here. Look at this one. The Tower of Terror cookie or the Terror cookie. It's so cool actually eating the terror cookie and hearing the screams from the Tower of Terror. And I'm excited. It's kind of soft. Oh, it is really, really soft. I'm going to break into it. And I don't know exactly everything that's in there, but once we get a look on the inside, we might know. So to the terror cookie. Ooh, oh, look at that. I wasn't expecting that just this little piece that I broke off. Look at the Oreo right there. That's like two Oreos on top of each other. And then there's like little caverns where you can see there's different things inside there. This is, a, I, I, I'm, I'm a little surprised by it. This is such a unique cookie and I love the white chocolate chips on the inside, the Oreos, and I think that cinnamon sugar on the top there. There's a lot happening here and it's actually like, I would say the size of Gideon's cookie. I mean, it's a, it, it's a good cookie, I love it. I just noticed in this bite, there's like another dimension in there. Look at that. It's like a cave of wonders. That's why they call it the Twilight Zone cookie, the terror cookie. I don't think anyone has ever said, hey, you got to try the cookies at Joffrey's. But now I'm kind of like, I'm thinking here, maybe Joffrey's is on to something. Maybe they're turning, turning a new cookie. All right, enough of the cookie business. Now that we had the Tower of Terror cookie, it's time to go ride the Tower of Terror. And I think that's kind of cool. I wish they would make more attraction cookies because I come eat them and ride them all day. It says it's a 50 minute wait for the standby. So like I said, I'm lucky I bought the Genie Plus so that I can, you know, kind of just get the lightning lanes for it. I've been trying all day to get a Slinky Dog Dash Lightning Lane, but there's none available. Like, it doesn't even give me the option, so I'm going to keep refreshing, and then after this, we're going on to Toy Story Land. Look at how beautiful this is, though. I do say the most relaxing queue is probably the uh, Tower of Terror. Oh, hi, how are you? <laughs> Only because you probably uh, got to stay calm before the big drop. We're in the far back.
of Terror was a great ride, and I felt like the lights stayed on longer than they normally do, so it was cool because you got to see a little bit more on the inside and all the terrified faces. Uh, but now I think uh, we'll see if we can make our way back through the park and down to Toy Story Land. Earlier, I was talking about how uh, Rock and Roller Coaster wasn't open, uh, and there's really nothing else down here except for Lightning McQueen's Racing Academy. It's like a little, uh, kind of like a show. There's a nice, really big animatronic Lightning McQueen in there. Uh, but, I mean, that's the only reason to come down here. You got these little snack stands, but not even the gift shops open for Rock and Roller Coaster. But I don't mind coming down and just listening to music. I've been seeing a lot of rumors of people talking about a possible retheming of Rock and Roller Coaster, but that's been going on for years. I mean, I've seen concepts from uh, a Monsters Inc. roller coaster where you're basically going through the door factory and Inside Out, I've heard, and I've even heard other musicians making a, like a different Rock and Roller Coaster. But either way, I just hope the attraction opens up soon. Uh, they did switch the one that was over in Disneyland Paris to a uh, uh, Avengers one or an Iron Man. It used to be Rock and Roller Coaster, and then they turned it to an Iron Man one. So there is a possibility. I'm glad we rode Tower of Terror when we did. Look at this. Now it's a 120 minute wait. That's the Hollywood Studios I know. Hollywood Studios is definitely different from all the other parks. You know what I mean? Like, if you really want to utilize Genie Plus, you have to plan, get up early. If I go to any of, like, if I go to Magic Kingdom and I decide I just want to buy Genie Plus in the middle of the day, I could still get a lot of use out of it. But Hollywood Studios, because the attractions are so scarce and spread out, like, kind of, like, close together, not spread out, uh, it makes it easy to get to. And uh, they go quick. Like I said, lightning lanes for uh, Slinky Dog Dash are hard to come. By. In fact, I think they should switch the uh, Lightning Lane to a paid version and then put Rise of the Resistance on the Genie Plus version because you can always find uh, extra Lightning Lanes for Rise of the Resistance. You just got to pay for them. But if uh, they did that with Slinky, I think a lot of people would buy it. I would. I can't wait for them to actually open up uh, the new Little Mermaid show. It's going to be... Uh Probably this summer, I think they announced it. It's not going to be called The Voyage of the Little Mermaid, though, and it, the, the show is going to be different. But wait a second, I just realized they got Futurama and Bob's Burger posters down here. Never thought I'd see Bender in uh, a Disney park, but there he is. The new show is going to be called The Little Mermaid, a Musical Adventure, and it says that it's supposed to start in fall 2024, so just right after summer there, and I think that's like one of the last things that still hasn't opened up since the pandemic, so we're almost there, almost 100%. I'm gonna assume that the uh, Toy Story Play-Doh cookie is actually at the Joffrey stand right on the outside of uh, uh, Toy Story Land. We'll check there, but it could be at Woody's Lunchbox. I don't know. I'll have to, we'll have to take a gander. And here it is, the Play-Doh cookie. I love the way it looks. It's a funfetti uh, like sugar cookie with sprinkles, marshmallows, caramel, and then I think a little animal uh, cookie on top. And it kind of looks like a llama on there. It's a Play-Doh and it's right outside. Oh, I almost lost it. I almost dropped my cookie. This is uh, Joffrey's too. So Joffrey's really is stepping it up with the cookie. I mean, with the cookies. Yeah, look at that. And it's like a cookie on top of a cookie. I don't know if I should take them off and like snack on them later if I should eat with the cookie. But here we go. The uh, Play-Doh cookie. Oh, look at that. You see the caramel on the back side there. <laughs> Cheers. Tastes nothing like Play-Doh, but I have to say, I think this is better than the Tower of Terror one. I just love it. And I love the marshmallow in there. It is a good, good cookie. And it's softer. Definitely softer than the Tower of Terror one. And like I mentioned on the back, on the bottom, you can see the caramel. Oh, much too good. I got myself a coffee to go with the cookie, and I love Joffrey's straws. If you're ever in the park, you don't want to use the paper straws. They have special straws at the Joffrey locations. But I gotta got give it a little cookie combo. I mean, the coffee cookie taste, you know? Now that we got to try the cookie, I think we're gonna go hang out. I wanna go, I wanna go explore this area where Toy Story Midway Mania used to be, and then make our way into Toy Story Land so we can ride some of the rides.
both of the cookies remind me of like everything cookies or kitchen sink cookies but I think I'm gonna take the Toy Story one, the Play-Doh cookie. And uh, I couldn't get a lightning lane still for, se uh, not Seven Doors, uh, for Slinky Dog Dash, but I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna keep looking. Oh, looks like the Edna Mode meet and greet is back open. Look at this. Oh, and you got Sully over there. Meet and greet with Sully, Mr. Incredible, Mrs. Incredible. Honey, where's my super suit? Look at Frozo just walking around too. I think he's going down to Mr. Incredible there. I miss the old Toy Story though. Look at that. They have a nice little Pixar wall now though. I remember walking in here. I think this was the Lightning Lane. I think this was the standby. I'm pretty sure this is where Toy Story Midway Mania used to be. Right in this little back area here. It's nice to see Sully out doing like a meet and greet. I wish Mike Wazowski was with him. Mr. Incredible and Mrs. Incredible were together. And I'd like to see more Pixar characters down in that area. I think it's a fun little spot, but I think uh, maybe uh, into Toy Story Land we go. There it is, Slinky Dog Dash. Oh, I want to ride it. I love this ride. I think it, honestly, it's probably my favorite ride in Hollywood Studios. It's in between this and Tower of Terror for me. Look how fun it is. I honestly might be crazy enough to just wait in the line. It's just 75 minutes, but like, like I said, I like it that much. But I already bought the Genie Plus, so I don't feel like, you know what I mean? I, I feel like if I didn't buy the Genie Plus, I would just wait in line. But like now that I feel like I got the Genie Plus, I'm like, why am I waiting in line? <laughs> the line looks honestly not that bad. Not that bad at all. I think I'm going for it. I think I'm gonna time it. 316 from this point right here. I keep looking for lightning lanes while I'm in the queue, but I notice that it keeps dropping in wait time. Look at, so now it says 55 minutes, but no lightning lanes. Now it went down to 50 minutes. It started at 65 minutes, but since I've been in line, it dropped 15 minutes in wait time. And it's uh, only been about eight minutes since we've been waiting and we're already up here. Look at that. Honestly, this is working out pretty good. Honestly, I don't think I've ever been waiting in a line and seeing like the wait time, like watching, because I'm trying to get a lightning lane, so I keep on checking just so I can get out of the standby line, but the way that it's going, I think I just might as well stay in here. Uh, this is, uh, it's down to 45 minutes now. Like it's just ticking away, it's 327. I think we got in line just at the right time. Look at that. I think uh, 24 minutes, I think that's the right math, or just around, we'll say 30 minutes. I asked to sit in the back row because I think it's a better ride, and plus you can see uh, Slinky's little, uh, his little uh, springy tail there. Hang on. Bring him in. Oh, here he comes. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> yeah!
will never die. Say you got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. Slinky Dog Dash got me so excited. I love that ride. I love Slinky Dog Dash. And now I feel like I was at like a seven or an eight. Now I feel like I'm on like a 10 excitement level because it really does it. It's such a fun ride. I love all the sounds. I love hearing Slinky. And I think it's just a cool ride, especially when you're going all those hills like that. My hand is a dolphin. <laughs> And I still can't get over the fact that it was only a 30 minute wait. Like it was like, 30, you know what I mean? Like that's amazing. And it kept on going down as we sat in the line. I, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. But now we're in Galaxy's Edge. And uh, I got a uh, lightning lane for Rise of the Resistance. But I want to kind of just gander around in here a little bit. See if there's anything good to buy. Oh, what's going on here? It's a table of uh, toys. A table of toys. Forget the toys, the Mandalorian just walked out with Grogu, so I think I'm gonna go over and see if I can say hi. Thanks, Mando, how are ya? Do you know how to balance an undermount torpedo launch? Ah, uh, my, I can figure it out. That's all right. Yeah? <laughs> Not many do. Oh, okay. You're on a bounty list. Relax, I didn't take the job. Thank you. But someone did. Oh, Watch boy. your back. <laughs> can we have a photo? <laughs> Thanks, Mando. Thanks, Google. <laughs> Have a great day. <laughs> Mando said that there was a bounty out on me, and he told me to relax. He's like, relax. I didn't take the job, but somebody did. Now I got to wonder who that somebody is. <laughs> I think we're going to make our way into Rise of the Resistance now. I got the Lightning Lane. I paid $22 for it. So today I bought a $24 Genie Plus and a $22 uh, Lightning Lane for uh, Rise of the Resistance. I'm $42 in, but at least I don't got a bounty. <laughs> I do have to say, at least the Lightning Lane for uh, Rise of the Resistance, it's like not even a wait. Like, you know, sometimes they dump you, like, at the merge point, but this one takes you right on in, and uh, I kind of love it. Also, I forgot to mention my shirt, because I'm sure some of you guys are like, oh, look, Nate's got a polo on, and that's because I'm wearing Roosevelt's. This is the Roosevelt, but it's also a polo. They do a golf uh, line called Breakfast Balls that also makes some really cool shirts, and this one's Star Wars, and I like how it's a little subtle. You know what I mean? I wanted something a little bit cooler, especially during the hot summer, you know what I mean, uh, temperatures. So I think the polo, I'm gonna test it out for a little bit. Oh boy, nothing like riding Rise of the Resistance after the Mandalorian said that I have a bounty out on me. <laughs> Thank you. Yo. There we go. on the fuel pressure line. That's better. Check the binary motivator. I don't know if they're after me. I have a bad feeling about this. Stand back from those doors. Resistance sympathizer. Cargo vessel TR-141 is now under the command of the First Order. You must disembark immediately and proceed down the corridor to your right for interrogation. Now get off the ship. That doesn't require you to move. Oh boy. <laughs> How you doing? I love walking in this room. <sighs> oh, dang. It looks like we're backed up. Sometimes I feel like those stormtroopers are looking. He just moved. 
Oh, they're separating us now. Wow, this is new. How many? No wonder you got caught. You have bikes on this game. Nice choice. Three to the right. Let's go. <laughs> As if that could scare me. How many here? One. One to the right. Thanks. You're not welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Location of the secret base, and I will take it from you. We are needed on the bridge. Keep the prisoners here. I will return to finish this personally. With seatbelts securely fastened, keep hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the transport and supervise your children. <laughs> Tell them it's a prisoner transfer. <laughs> Did it work? <laughs> Good. Now get to move on. <laughs> There's a clear path to the turbo lifts at the end of the hallway. Turn right. <laughs> I didn't spot you. <laughs> Take those turbo lifts and stay out of trouble. Hey, you're not authorized. Wait, it goes to the prisoners. <laughs> we got to ride rise of the resistance i think there's a plant tickle in the back of my neck 
felt a little funny there, but <laughs> I'm happy we got to ride Rise of the Resistance, like I said. And uh, it's starting to get hot out. Like, uh, it seems like it's been getting hotter a little bit later in the day, around like 3 or 4 o'clock. I used to think it was like 12 or 1, but... I mean, unless I'm just like used to being on the sun because I'm starting to feel it. Like earlier, it was really nice, cool, breezy, but uh, it's taking its toll on me. So I think we're going to actually leave and head home and see Gracie Girl. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do for dinner. I might, you know, carry the video over and grab something to eat. I was looking at some spots around here, but, uh, you know, Hollywood Studios, I was thinking about Woody's Roundup Rodeo, but I just ate there with my mom and Bonnie and stuff like that. But I do want to come back and make a video. So I don't know. Who knows? We'll just see how it goes and go home and see Gracie. With the heat, it definitely uh, clears out the park. Look at this. There's not anybody over here. Hardly anybody over by Echo Lake either. Most people are just sitting inside, soaking up the AC somewhere, waiting for a ride. They even got Gertie's open. Might actually stop and look at some of the merchandise before we uh, leave the park. Hey, how are ya? Look at you got Donald over here, some more Stitch. You know, I'm actually a fan of this Mickey. Like, just the classic Mickey with the Walt Disney World. I got this sweater when I was in Disneyland. I think it's just so cool. Just very simple. That's all you need. Just need a Walt Disney World logo and Mickey Mouse, and you're good to go. And it looks like they're just duplicating it over. And, oh, look at this clock. That's a nice little clock. I wonder how much this is. Oh, fancy. $54.99. All right. I think I could find a way to tell time cheaper. Nothing in there really catching my fancy, but I do love browsing. I do love taking a look around the stores and seeing what maybe they got, you know? But uh, yeah, I guess uh, now it's time to head home. Oh, the crossroads. There she is, Gracie girl. What, you want a cookie, you want a treat? She gone. Would you like a pup cup? Oop. Hey, where'd you go with it? Where'd you go with it? Here. There you go. Did you get your treat out of here earlier? Well, I was going to go get something to eat and continue the video, but instead I think I'm just going to stay in, probably order some uh, grilled nuggets from Chick-fil-A. I don't know why. I've been obsessing about those grilled nuggets, and they're really good for losing weight because they have such a low calorie uh, count, and the protein is phenomenal inside them. A 12 count is almost 30 grams of protein. Uh, so if you want a little tip, uh, I mean, I'm not doing great progress, but I'm slowly getting there, and I have to accredit it to grilled chicken and broccoli. You just got to force eat it. That's the, that's the trick. So, uh, yeah. Oh, oh, my Lord. I almost forgot one thing. I got to tell you guys something. I have some more exciting news too because if you guys didn't get a chance to get my uh, Tiki and Phrasing Mr. Morrow shirts through Roosevelt's, they just restocked them. Isn't that so cool? This is my little workstation, so I have a whole bunch of different shirts, but uh, yeah, you can get these shirts now. You have this one right here, uh, the Tiki one, which I love, and then the Phrasing Mr. Morrow. And thank you guys so much. Like honestly, I was amazed that they sold out first uh that like the first time and uh now i'm just happy some more people get to buy it and because of you guys you know messaging roosevelt's and saying hey we want more shirts they ended up uh restocking them so thank you guys so much seriously thank you so much like I never thought I would have my own clothing line, you know what I mean? Or my own like merchandise ever, you know what I mean? Like something on this level is something that is like unfathomable for younger Nate to actually think that, that's, that this was all possible. And I have to thank you guys. Like I always say it, like I would never be here if it wasn't for you. And I appreciate every single one of you. Like every single one of you and I hope that a lot of people get to enjoy the shirts and I hope I get to run into some people in the park wearing them. it's my favorite thing in the world like I absolutely love when I'm just walking around Epcot and then all of a sudden I'm like hey that's my shirt and you know like normally I'm the one that's like hey like I'll chase you down because I get so excited and uh, yeah so I guess that's gonna do it for me tonight Gracie has her pup cake, and tomorrow, I, well, uh, officially they go, uh, the shirts go live 
I think May 11th at 12 p.m. Uh, 12 in the afternoon the restock so hopefully there's like you know I mean, enough that if anybody wants to get any they can get them and uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it and I guess uh, we'll see you guys next time bye have a great day <laughs>